live from the CBS Broadcast Center in New York City, this is CBS 2 News at 11. And stripping for grandma, who invited male dancers to a local nursing home? Next is not every day you hear of strippers performing at a nursing home, but it happened on Long Island, and now the family of an 85-year-old woman is suing. Tonight, CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco with the debate over the risque review. A disturbing picture of a nearly naked male stripper and 85-year-old Bernice Youngblood stuffing money into his underwear. Even more shocking, the picture was taken during a so-called entertainment event at the East Neck Nursing Center in West Babylon. I feel terrible. I was shaking and going on. And he told me what he was to do. Now Youngblood's family is outraged and suing after finding that offensive photo in her room. For something like this to happen at this day and age and this time, my mother's a Baptist. She served the community. None of y'all will want this done to your parents. Residents at One Riverdale Nursing Home in the Bronx and loved ones visiting them on Tuesday night agreed. That's it's totally awkward. Um, I think there's no place for a person of such caliber in a nursing home. It's That's not appropriate at all. You have them half negative on and all that? Old folks? Well, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. But attorneys for the East Neck Nursing Center have doubts about this woman seen in the picture next to Bernice Youngblood. They say she's part of Youngblood's family. She happens to be the live-in girlfriend who holds herself out as the wife of Mr. Youngblood, who is complaining here about how his mother was treated. The Youngbloods dispute that. If you look at the picture, it's clear. It's a staff member. Well, the nursing home says the elderly residents requested the stripper. The 85-year-old at the center of the lawsuit says no way. They tell me what to do. The State Department has now stepped in and launched an investigation into this incident. In the newsroom, Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News.